Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitzmonk TV here, aka Jalon33. I'm back with another video on the channel for you guys today. And today, we got a new Dragon Ball Daima trailer. Finally. Finally. Um, even though this trailer has no dialogue, ugh, but we do finally get a new trailer. When was the, when was the last the, the last trailer we got? I don't remember. It was like early winter, I believe. Something like that. And it was really just a Goku trailer, just showing, you know, Goku in his, you know, his kid state now, right? And so, um, this trailer focuses on some of the new characters we'll be seeing in, you know, the show. And kind of emphasizing this new adventure that Goku and the others are going to be going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, this trailer came out, like, literally around 2 a.m. last night, um... And it was the reason why it wasn't announced or anything like, you know, some big event or, you know, Comic-Con or anything like that was because this was shown at a private event in Japan um, where attendees got new information about Daima, some of the new characters that are going to be in the show, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, yeah, it wasn't meant to be a public event. So I guess their plan was always to release this trailer after that private event. And, you know, they did a really good job of keeping it private. Um, yeah, I know some of you guys, if you guys were on social media, you may have seen earlier this week there was some, like, leaked character sheets, right? I didn't cover it because I just wanted to wait for more official news. I didn't want to waste time making a video talking about this new character when we knew nothing about him, right? Um, but now that we have a little bit more information, now, of course, I'm happy to make, you know, a full-length video on it. So, of course, we're going to go through the trailer um, itself, and then we'll watch it one time through, and then we'll go through it. And then there's some other cool things that were revealed to us as well, like a new key visual that came out. Um, and, you know, we also got uh, some new character sheets as well, officially uh, released from the Dragon Ball website. So we'll go through it here. Um, and, yeah, I will say this. It does suck that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, the video game, right, has been probably the best promoted Dragon Ball item in the last five years since the Broly movie. Like, Sparking Zero has been promoted better than the superhero movie that came out two years ago. Um, and Daima. We still don't know anything about Daima. And this show is supposed to come out in like a little over two months now. Right? We're, near, we're getting close to August now. And here we are. We're finally getting some new information on Daima. It sucks that this is not a dialogue uh, trailer. Like, we don't have, you know, the voice actor. But hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we will finally get a full-length dialogue trailer, a full-length story trailer, right? Because I know they have that big event going on in Japan in a couple months, um, in a couple weeks. And then, of course, San Diego Comic-Con. Even though there's no Daima um, panel that's going to be at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, so... We should see things hopefully finally ramp up here in the, in the next few weeks. Maybe in the coming days. But anyway, let's get into this trailer. Let's go. Goku looks nice. Why are we lagging? Mm. Supreme Kai. Mosh gear, okay. Goku's about to do battle. We've seen that stuff from the first trailer. Whoa! Evil? Evil Kyosin? And Goku with the power pole. And that's it. October 2024. Alright. So like I said, it was really... There was nothing big... It was more just, you know, emphasizing this is like a brand new adventure, right? The worlds look beautiful. We know that there's going to be most this, this will be taking place in multiple different locations, right? Of course, probably the beginning will be like on Earth, right? When Goku and the others get turned into kids, then it will expand into this demon realm, right? We're going to get a lot of exploration in the demon realm. Um, if you guys didn't see that from my last video. Um, and then from there, it'll probably be like looking at you know exploring different locations of the demon realm as goku and the supreme kai try to solve this mystery of you know why they've been turned back into kids and get everything back on track and then they'll have those new characters like that mira looking character um to help them 
as well. But let's go through it one more time. There we have all the main characters. So clearly they're on um yeah, this has to be the arrival of this um Mira looking character, which I believe his name is Gl Glorsha. Glorsha, I believe. Um Boring. This looks like Capsule Corporation, I think because of the logo. Maybe I'm wrong, but I believe this is like Bulma's uh robots probably making something. Maybe a spaceship or something that's gonna help Goku on his quest. There's Goku. I love this. He's doing his normal stance. Like I said, one thing we still don't know, we have no idea where this takes place in the timeline. We still have no idea. We know it takes place after the Majin Buu arc, but we don't know, like, if it takes place before Dragon Ball Super, before Goku meets Beerus, or anything like that. But it's still cool to see Goku doing his normal stance. You see Goku flying with the the power. So I can tell if that's Goku actually flying or if he's just like going through the wind, right? Like we don't know. Like one thing we don't we don't know if the, you know the wish or whatever the spell whatever was cast on our characters to turn them back into kids. We don't know if what effect it may have had on you know Goku's power. Can Goku transform into any of his Super Saiyan forms? Like we have no idea about any of that. I get that that Gorga Glorsa character always has a serious look on his face. Majin type character, right? I know last week we talked about potentially there potentially be like a new version of Majin Buu um revealed to us. Um But I don't know if that's him. Like I don't know much about these new characters. Um but this does seem to be a Majin type character, and it looks like this character might be wearing a mask. We don't know. I do love the designs that Toriyama made for these characters, though. So it seems like Goku's about to go in battle here, right? But it just seems like a different battle than um, the one we saw him in the first trailer. You guys remember the first trailer? Goku it seems like he was fighting some robot type character. You know, this. I don't know if he's fighting. Let me see. It seems like here he might be fighting Gorisha because look, it looks like he is fighting Gor. Because uh, look at like yeah, he is fighting. Let's look. He Gorisha has blue plants and like uh, of course like a little gun and then like uh, the brown pouch. So it seems like Goku is about to maybe so maybe they're training. Maybe Gorisha is like testing Goku's power. Hmm. And then of course we have those. Those other two, I believe this is like the new ruler of the demon realm, the person who's taken Deborah's place, right? Since um Deborah's gone. It looks like they're watching, of course, like what happened in the Majin Buu saga. So it's interesting, like how did they get this footage? Like, you know, did they have like some kind of camera? You know, was like Bobbity or Deborah wearing some kind of like transmitter or you know, something? A lot of people are saying this could be like we've we've there's been a lot of theories talking about is there like an evil Kaioshin, right? Something that they've wanted to see in Dragon Ball for a long time now, right? What if there's an evil Supreme Kai? I don't know. Does maybe that we're finally getting that explored here in this show? Maybe. Like I think a lot of people are gonna make that prediction, right? But um, could be, could be. So Gagorich, you gonna you gonna smile for us every anyone anytime. Power pole. I do I, I do love the look of Goku with the power pole. It is really cool. But um anyway, getting into some of the other stuff that was revealed in this uh today. Um so we got a new key visual, new key visual for Daima. And uh this Oh, sorry, the trailer's still going on. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to exit out of that. I need to get a new computer, guys, so badly. Like, uh, 
this computer has run its course. I'm like, oh, I need to get a new com computer. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, we got a new key visual. So, I think this is our first official key visual for Diamond, if I'm right. Um, but here in, in this one, we have... Um, In this one, you can see um, we have Goku riding a dragon, right? So he's in the demon realm, right? So he looks like he makes friends with some dragons that like to help him get around. So like I said, we don't know if Goku can fly. We don't. I, I, I assume he still can, right? But, you know, we don't know. But I, I'm not gonna lie. I am starting to come around. Like I don't like that our characters are turned into kids. But Goku being a kid here, it, it, it's it's kind of cute. It really is. Him having that fun-loving demeanor all the time. Like you know, I, I'm kinda, I'm starting to slowly come around to it. Um, but it would be nice to get a dialogue trailer so we could hear Mazako Nozawa with the like, the kid Goku voice. Um, but anyway, you're right. We got Goku here on a dragon. And then uh, we got the Supreme Kai. Looks like, you know, keep on the lookout. We also have that new Gorissa character in the spaceship, right? And then we have this Majin character, right? Um, and I will say this. There was a couple people on Twitter that leaked character sheets of, like, some of the new characters. Like, that they leaked Gorissa and the... Uh, um, the other female, because I believe she, uh, this character is wearing a mask. I believe this character is wearing a mask, and she kind of looks a little bit like Toa. A little bit, not fully, but she looks a little bit like Toa with, like, pigtails. Um, so I believe here she's just wearing a mask here, and then at some point she'll reveal her true identity. But I believe Gorisha and this character here, um, they aid Goku and the Supreme Kai in their adventures um, throughout the Diamond world. Right or throughout the the demon realm, and you can see this looks like some of the th you know, um, you see these three different landscapes. I I think all three of these are part of the demon realm, but like different parts. Right, well, this one gives up a little bit of kind of like a like a jungle like pond sea type vibe, right? With the green here is more of like a wasteland landscape, right? And of course, the right here that's like that looks like actual demon realm. So it'll be interesting how Goku and the others navigate through these three very unique locations. I'm on the bed here. This is like the villains. This is like where they, uh, where they, uh, you know, primarily do their business. So yeah. So a new world, a new Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Daima. Welcome to the Great Adventure. So it's giving off huge Dragon Ball vibes, huge OG Dragon Ball vibes here. You know, this is this is different than what you expect, and it looks like it looks like our characters, at least like Vegeta, Piccolo, and them, we're, and you know, we're only going to see them in the early parts of the show. It seems like once Goku leaves Earth with the Supreme Kai to go on this new adventure in the Demon Realm, it seems like you know, at least for the first part of the show. The Vegeta and the others are going to stay on Earth, which will be interesting. Maybe later on in the show, they everyone else gets involved, but it seems like Goku will be in the, the Demon Realm with Supreme Kai and, you know, making new friends, making new allies and enemies as he's on this new quest. So, yeah. So, I do, but I do like this. I do like this visual. I do like, you know, the concept of Goku as a kid. Um, I'm starting to come around to it a little bit more, but I need a story trailer to fully be on board. I need, I need that dialogue story trailer before I can fully be like, all right, I'm going to watch it no matter what. I'm a, I'm a Dragon Ball guy for life, but yeah. So here we have a character sheet, right? So some of this was leaked a couple of days ago. And I know there was some people that got in like big trouble on Twitter that, you know, Toei was not happy. They were taking down accounts that were, of course, um, leaking this news. But now that this is official, we can talk about it. So, excuse me. So, um, so of course, here we got Piccolo, Vegeta, Supreme Kai, Goku, right? And then we got these three new characters. So, Gorisha, um, the Majin character, and I, and I believe this is the character, um, this is like the new king of the demon realm, right? So, 
like I said, here's the character sheets. Nothing too much. You know, like I said, if you guys were on Twitter earlier this week, he, Garisa was already leaked. You see, he's a lot taller than Goku. Um, but remember, Goku is a kid here. Um, so, so yeah. Um, anything else? I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah. So, we got an introduction. So, this is kind of like an introduction to, um, to Daima. So, Toriyama didn't make this, of course. Usually, like I said, usually we're used to when... Something new is coming out for Dragon Ball. It looks like my camera is starting to die. So I need to charge the battery. But usually when something new comes out for Dragon Ball, usually we get something from Toriyama explaining, uh, just giving a little bit of insight into the show or into this new work, right? Kind of his ideas about it, you know, his thoughts behind it. Um, and I'm kind of telling you, hey, look forward to it, right? So... Here we get this introduction. Welcome to the great adventure. OG Dragon Ball vibes, right? The birth of a new world, a new Dragon Ball by Akira Toriyama. The Dragon Ball phenomenon began in 1984 when Chappelle's well-known manga from Akira Toriyama uh, premiered in Suasis Weekly Shonen Jump, becoming a top-ranked title throughout its 10 and a half years of publication. Since then, uh... Japan's well-known manga. Sorry, let me read that again. The Dragon Ball phenomenon began in 1984 when Japan's well-known manga from a quarter time of premiere in the Weekly Shonen Jump, becoming a top-ranked title throughout its ten and a half years of publication. Since then, the manga's popularity has continued to grow with an astonishing record of 260 million copies sold worldwide and counting. And with Dragon Ball's ever-increasing popularity, it has expanded beyond manga to include TV animation, movies, games, and merchandising. Dragon Ball's popularity kept its momentum, and in 2013, the release of its serial movies was restarted. Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, right? You guys know this. For the first time in 17 years to much acclaim. Then in 2015, the series Dragon Ball Super by Akira Toriyama began to air. In 2022, the movie... Uh, well, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't mention the Broly movie in 2019. But anyway, the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero was released, earning not only the number one spot at the Japanese box office in its first weekend, but also number one at the worldwide box office in its first week. In October 2024, on the 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball's serialization, the new series Dragon Ball Daima will finally begin and make its mark in the history of Dragon Ball. So there you go. Here you go. So it doesn't mention anything here. So I guess the way they want to go about this is Daima is a celebration of the 40 years of Dragon Ball, right? And of course, no, now that, you know, unfortunately, um, Toriyama has passed away, I guess that that's the way they want to view it, right? This is Toriyama's final work, right? Even though a lot of us wish, you know, he didn't want to pass away. He passed away at a relatively young age in his mid-60s. Right. He still had plenty of work they wanted to do, probably more future Dragon Ball projects and etc. But um this is, you know, life happens, you know, this we we all have an end date on our lives and this is gonna be viewed as a since this was his final work forty years after the first Dragon Ball uh started, um um, this is going to be viewed as a celebration of everything Toriyama did in the 40 years he wrote Dragon Ball. And, you know, this will be a celebration of his final work. Um, and then whatever happens in the future, it's the future. Um, you know, that will be dealt with whenever that time comes. But Daima will be a celebration of everything Toriyama did with the Dragon Ball franchise. With this new adventure, a new world, a new Dragon Ball. So... Yeah, so it's a new world, a new Dragon Ball, but Goku still takes center stage, right? Um, and it'll be interesting to see some of these new, some of these new characters, um, how they make their mark in the legacy of Dragon Ball. So here we go. So, um, so Glorio, Glorio. So I'm gonna go through this really quickly. So there's the, the you know the um, the main vis uh the new key visual, and uh, probably as the, you know the show gets closer, we'll probably get um, even more new key visual art as more is revealed to us. But um, 
So we have Goma from the left. So I guess that's the name of the that's the name of the new demon king, right? The new king of the demon realm, right? Now that the boar is gone, uh, we have the Mass Majin, right? But I believe we already know who this character is if you guys have seen the leaks, right? Then we have uh, Glorio. I've been calling him Gloria, but Glorio. Um, of course, and then we have Goku, Supreme Kai, Vegeta, and Piccolo. Like I said, I'm not expecting Vegeta and Piccolo to have a big role in the early part of this show. Um, but yeah, Glorio is one of the demons who accompanies Goku and the Supreme Kai in the demon realm. He pilots a plane and carries a gun as a weapon. So, yeah. So, not much... That we find out about him. First look at Mass Majin. Um, and you guys remember we talked about potentially there being like this new version of Majin Buu. I don't think that's this character. I think, you know, this new version of Majin Buu will probably be like an evil character that Goku has to go up against. Um, but like I said, I think that will be a little bit later on. They're not going to reveal who that character is yet. But um, the Mass Majin... Um, what will this Cape Majin do in the story, and how will they get involved in Goku's adventure? So, there's that. And then, first of all, look at the three mysterious worlds that Goku and the others will be traveling to. So, yep, there we go. Different parts of the demon realm. Right. So, left we have Goma, right, who we, who we saw in the trailer. And then write a new character that looks a lot like the Supreme Kai. Pretends a demonic Supreme Kai. We don't know. But it's good to, you know, come up with different theories. And yeah, that's about it. Supreme Kai, I do like the way the Supreme Kai looks in this story. I am glad he's, you know, getting a prominent role here. It's always cool to see Toriyama um, bring some of these new characters back. Or some of these old characters back. Right, bring Broly back and you know make him even better than he was in DBZ, and then bring you know Supreme Kai who hasn't had anything to do really in Dragon Ball Super, um, but now he's gonna be one of the main characters in this new show. Right, it's always cool to see Toriyama do that. Like bring back Future Trunks in the Goku Black arc. I love it, but yeah, it looks like this will be the main gang for Dragon Ball Daima. We don't know yet. Of course, there's still a lot that hasn't been revealed to us, but it seems like. These will be, you know, um, our, our, our A-team for Daima, at least the first part. We don't know if this story is going to have multiple arcs, like, or we don't. We still don't even know how many episodes this show is going to have, you know? But we're just going to, you know, have to enjoy it as it comes out and wait for more information. But, yeah, other than that, um, thank you for Chronicles to getting us that new information. But, yeah, other than that, that's about all I got for you guys today. So, yeah. You know, so we do got a new trailer, so we finally get a little bit more, um, but still a lot, a lot, a lot that's being hidden from us, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to continue to be patient, guys. We're just gonna have to continue to be patient. But um, yeah, let me know um, what you guys thought of the trailer. Um, let me know if this got you guys excited or if you guys are still waiting for more information. It is cool to finally get some new information. I do love this new key art, but yeah, we still. There's still a lot left for us to learn about this show. So hopefully now we'll finally get the promotion train uh, rolling. And hopefully over these next two, three months, um, they can really get us excited for Diamond's premiere um, in October. It's crazy, man. Uh, and like I said, rest in peace, Toriyama. Uh, I, I, uh, this is for you, Toriyama. This is for you. But um, other than that, that's about all I got for you guys today. Let me know in the comments section your guys' thoughts. If you guys are new to the channel, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hit the bell right next to my name, Fitzpunk TV. So you guys are notified every time I post a new video. I will be giving you guys all the new info on Dima as it slowly comes out. I will see you guys later. Stay safe.